A recent study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association showed that 15% of the kids from 6 to 19 that were tested suffered some hearing loss. The main suspect? Noise. Certainly aging is a factor, but we can accelerate this whole process of our losing our hearing by being exposed to loud sounds day after day after day. To Dr. Richard Salvi, noise-induced hearing loss is just a matter of time. So all of these little acoustic insults add up over time, they build up, and they lead to the eventual destruction of all the sensory hair cells in the ear. And once all the cells are gone, we lose our hearing. When sound waves enter the ear canal, they set the middle ear into motion. The sound pressure is amplified some 22 times as it passes through the middle ear to the inner ear, where there are 20 to 30,000 microscopic hair cells. The hair cells react to sound and stimulate a nerve going to the brain. Under a microscope, you can see this living hair cell reacting to music. Too much noise can temporarily tire hair cells, cutting down signals to the brain. Usually, this corrects itself, but repeated exposure to loud noise can leave you with permanent high tone loss and sometimes chronic ringing, called tinnitus, a condition that affects nearly 50 million Americans. Many people that call me telling me that one of their biggest complaints is this ringing, this phantom sound that's in their ear. We tend to think of hearing loss as something that only affects the ear, where in reality, hearing not only involves the ear, it also involves the brain. We interpret sounds with our brain. Researchers at the Buffalo, New York VA Medical Center were the first to pinpoint the source of tinnitus. We've used some modern brain imaging techniques that allows us to look inside the living human brain and see how it's functioning. We can look at their brain when the tinnitus is very loud and find out where the activity is. Once we know where it's occurring, then we can begin to develop some rational therapy to get rid of the tinnitus. Again, this is a long ways down the road. The brain is a very, very complicated structure. We're just beginning to understand really how it works.